Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly. Welcome, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, today I am sharing with you a recipe that is from a cookbook called Cooking from Frozen in Your Instant Pot. It's a hundred foolproof recipes with no thawing, except I'm using thawed chicken in this recipe, but uh, it worked out fine. The book is by Christy Bernardo, and that is her recipe. But I will leave the ingredients down below because that is not copyrighted. And very simple and very easy to make. Uh, I love using my Instant Pot, especially during the summertime when it's hot. So this is really a simple, easy recipe and very flavorful. But you will need one jar of salsa verde, and I'm using a 16 ounce jar. You will need salt and pepper to taste. Monterey Jack shredded cheese and pepper jack shredded cheese, one cup each. Two pounds of chicken breast. And as I said, uh, you can use this frozen, but mine was already thawed, so that's what I'm using. And half of a medium onion chopped. A half a cup of chicken broth. Two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil and two teaspoons of minced garlic. And I'm using the garlic that's in the jar. Usually I like to use fresh garlic, um, but this one worked out fine, very easy uh, to do. But in your Instant Pot, you wanna turn it on and you wanna let this on saute and let it heat up. And once it says hot, because you're preheating it, then add the olive oil to your pan and then you will add the onions and you want to make sure that this cooks till it's soft and translucent so about five minutes or so or until you get that consistency that you like and once you've done that add the garlic cloves to this your minced garlic and you will cook that for about a minute or so you don't want it to burn and you just want it to get fragrant the worst thing is to have bitter or burnt garlic in a recipe. Now add the chicken broth, then the salsa verde, and you wanna add the chicken breast into that pot and you wanna cover it up with um, that sauce. Now put the lid on and you wanna make sure that the knob is in the sealing position. Then put this on 15 and then normal to high pressure. And once it is done, you will take a long, um, the handle from a spoon or something and just turn that knob manually to vent and you want that steam to come out and you wanna do that right away. Then take the chicken out of the pot once it had, the pressure has gone down and you will chop that up into little pieces. Uh, mine sort of uh, shredded a little bit. Then add it back to the pot and you want to mix it up in that mixture. And then you want to stir this up really well. And at this point you would either add salt and pepper. Now I did not add the salt to it because I felt it was salty enough. Uh, you can always add salt to it afterwards, uh, but I would probably leave the salt out and I just added the pepper to it. You will pour it into a oven safe dish and you can see that it is somewhat liquidy. Um, add some cheese to it and I add the pepper jack first and I do add a little bit of extra uh, than what I had to it. I like cheese in dishes like this. so. Just use your judgment on how much you want to use. And I added the Monterey Jack cheese on top. And once I've done that, I will put it in the oven just to melt the cheese. Um, when it comes out, this is what it looks like. It does brown. I like to have that brownness on top. But you can see that it is a little bit watery. And I did serve the Noor Mexican rice with this and some corn. But you can see on this plate, it is just a little bit watery. 
but if you let it sit for a little bit this is what it will look like afterwards so it does um, sort of soak up that juice you just have to let it sit out for a little while um, but it was delicious we really did enjoy this it had a lot of flavor for very little ingredients and seasoning it really did uh, taste really good um, and like I said you can make a complete meal with that Mexican rice and the corn and you can also cook this in a smaller uh, casserole dish to make it a little bit uh, thicker if you want if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more videos like it please click that subscribe button and the notification bell that will notify you when I post new videos I hope everyone has a blessed day a great week ahead God bless y'all